Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I am back after a long hiatus. I've got lots to tell you guys about. In particular, we are going to be talking about lubrication and why wetter is better. And I'll also be giving some life updates along the way. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure you keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. All right, uh, where do we begin? Some of you have noticed, I've seen in your comments, that I have been gone from YouTube for a while. <laughs> I took quite a long break for a variety of reasons. And normally if I would be taking a break, I would let you guys know, but ah. Uh, I just honestly had so much going on that I didn't even get time to do that. First and foremost, on a personal level, I went through a really bad breakup. I was not in a good way. Many of you guys know that a couple of months ago now, I came out publicly as gay. I had realized, obviously, sooner than that, that I was gay and was sort of coming to terms with it. But a couple of months ago was when I really felt comfortable publicly coming out and talking about it. And part of the reason was because I had actually started a relationship with someone. I had my first like proper official girlfriend as just an openly out gay woman. And it was really exciting. And I was really happy like super happy i'm not gonna you know get into the nitty-gritty details especially out of you know respect for that person but it didn't work out unfortunately um and to say that i was heartbroken would be an understatement i didn't want to come on here and talk about it when i was emotional and i knew i would just be a blubbering mess because I wanted to actually just fully give myself the time to heal. But also, I've had some really exciting stuff going on. So I am in the process, get ready for it, of launching my own podcast, which you guys have been asking for for ages because I know so many of you will actually just put my videos on to play and then you will go and like do things around the house because you don't actually have time to sit down and watch. And so, so many of you are like, please just start a podcast. It would be so much easier for us to tune in every week. So I'm finally answering your demands and I'm launching a podcast. I can't tell you all of the details yet because I am still in the pre-production stage. I'm starting to record the first few episodes. I'm working with a network to do it. It was super exciting. They actually approached me and said they really wanted to help me launch my show, which just felt really great. And so I am in the process right now of putting it all together. It's looking like it's probably gonna launch in the next month, but I will keep you guys updated when that is. So make sure you watch this space. Also follow me on Instagram because I post like daily over on Instagram, particularly on my stories. So you'll get pretty much instant updates over there in terms of what is happening with the podcast. So very excited about that. That has been taking up a lot of my time and a lot of time away from YouTube. And I'm also starting to, and this is a bit more like hush hush, says me as I like get on my YouTube channel to say this, I am starting to write a book. So in the very, very, very early stages of doing that, and I, I can give you guys more information about that as more developments happen with the book. But that's really all I can tell you right now is that I'm starting to write a book. And yes, it will absolutely be about sex and the podcast is obviously going to be about sex too. It'll be similar to like this, but it will also feature some really cool sex positive people who you guys are going to love. So I've had all of that going on. Lots of really exciting career stuff, stuff that honestly I've been working my butt off for like the better part of the last decade to actually have these opportunities come to me. So while I do feel very, very lucky and very fortunate, I also feel that this is the result of just a lot of hustling, a lot of late nights and just a lot of putting out content when people weren't watching or listening to it and just doing the hard work. And my final exciting announcement is that I am now, oh, I'm actually, this is probably the thing I'm most excited about. I'm now the official ambassador for Astroglide. Astroglide have been one of my favorite personal lubricant brands 
for such a long time and to have them actually want to partner with me and have me be their official ambassador is so exciting. It honestly feels like a dream come true. For those of you that haven't heard of Astroglide before, these are a couple of their products here and I thought it was extra cool to bring them up today because I'm going to be talking about lubrication and why it's so important. So they have an amazing range, but these are two that I am kind of like just really crushing on right now. These are kind of like two go-to ones for me. So the first one, and honestly, this is the one that I would probably recommend you go and get out as your first purchase if you're just dipping your toes into the water of buying personal lubricant is this one. It is called Toy and Joy and as the name suggests, it is specifically made for using with your sex toys or your adult toys or vibrators or dildos. You absolutely need to use personal lubricant when you use vibrators or sex toys and so many people don't realize this. So many people think, well, you know, I'm already lubricated enough or it really doesn't matter. It does matter because when you're inserting something particularly into your body, it needs to have a really smooth entry. And so lube is going to help facilitate that. And one of the main reasons it needs to have a smooth entry, apart from making it so much more comfortable and pleasurable for you, which hello, that's the point of using sex toys so you can have pleasure, is because it's going to help you prevent having that friction that if you're too dry and you've got lots of friction can lead to micro tears. And micro tears are little tiny microscopic, maybe that you can't always see to the eye, but tiny little tears that can occur in the delicate tissue inside your vagina and inside your anus. Guys and gals can both get them because you both have orifices that sex toys can go into. Another big mistake a lot of people make is they think that they don't need to put lube in on a toy when they're putting something in anally because they're already super horny. But unlike the vagina, the anus is not self-lubricating. So even if you're wildly turned on and you're having the best time and you're crazy horny, your anus is still going to be dry inside. So if you don't use lube, you're going to put yourself at risk for having that friction and potentially that micro tearing. That's why I absolutely never ever use any sex toy anywhere on my body without using lube. But you need to make sure you're using a compatible one. This is so important because if you're not using a compatible one, what can happen is different types of lube that aren't compatible with silicon sex toys can actually damage and break down the silicon and you do not want to be damaging your sex toy. You wanna to take good care of those babies. So you need to get a lube that is compatible and that is why I love Toy and Joy. I use this every time I use my vibrator, which not gonna lie, is a lot. I really made the most of Masturbation Month for May. I know I'm late to the party here. I know Masturbation Month is over. But let me tell you, Masturbation Month was doing a lot of masturbating. So thank you Astroglide for creating this amazing product. So this is a water-based lubricant. It is toy safe. It's also condom safe, which is really good to know because not all lubricants are compatible with condoms. Certain lubricants, particularly oil-based lubricants, can break down condoms, which means that they're not going to be safe. You're putting yourself at risk of pregnancy and STIs. So you always wanna be making sure you're using something that's compatible. This baby is compatible with your sex toys and your condoms. When I'm finished, using my toy, I will just take it into the bathroom sink, wash it with hot water and soap. If you can also use a sex toy cleaner soap, that's what I tend to use. There are lots of different ones around that you can get, but if not, just use some hand soap and some hot water and the lube washes off really quickly and easily. Now, while oil-based lubricants are not condom compatible, they are still really great and really fun to use for a variety of reasons. So I would actually recommend using an oil-based lubricant when you're not having sex with a condom. Maybe you're having sex just on your own, masturbating, or you are having sex with a long-term partner that you don't require condoms with. These are really great times to use an oil-based lubricant because they actually just, they can feel so much nicer. They're very moisturizing usually. They'll actually like not just make you wet, but they'll actually moisturize your genitals and the tissues down there and make them feel really nice and juicy for a long time. And they do tend to be very long lasting. Oil stays 
moist it stays wet that's the nature of oil so when you're using an oil-based lubricant chances are very high you're only going to need to apply it once at the beginning of your solo or coupled sex session and then you won't have to worry about it again which also means that oil-based lubricants tend to be like better bang for your buck because one bottle of oil-based lube is going to last you a very long time because you're not constantly squirting out heaps and heaps and heaps and so that's why i like astroglides o oil because it's an oil-based lubricant it doesn't have any parabens or glycerins in it which means it's a lot gentler and it's got really lovely luscious nourishing oils in there like coconut and argan oil so mm, it is divine let me tell you actually let me open this up and show you you can see how you just get like a couple of drops it's not pouring out like your regular water-based lube and when you rub this in try not to get it everywhere see how like it's on my hands now and my hands are staying like wet so you can imagine you can be massaging your partner and then going to other areas of their body if you get my drift and it, you've still just got this just juiciness and actually like after you use it your skin just looks really like lush i actually random sort of personal lube hack i actually use this on my legs <laughs> I know that's not what it's designed for, but it actually like works really well and it's really moisturizing because you've got the coconut and the argan oils in there. It actually feels really good on your skin and it makes your skin look really luscious. Don't be using this one with condoms. You want to go back to something like the Toy Enjoy, which is water-based. So talking about lubrication and why it's so important, I really think lubrication is probably one of, if not the most, neglected step when people are having sex they just kind of forget about lubrication and i know this because i i talk to people all the time who'll say like sex is really uncomfortable for them or it's painful for them and then when i'll ask you know are you using personal lubricant are you really naturally lubricated they'll say no and also a lot of people i talk to who have anal sex just do not realize that you need to use personal lubricant when you are having any kind of anal sex, anal penetration or anal play because of what I said earlier, the anus is not self-lubricating. Also, I think because we put a lot of pressure on women, women have this idea that we, we are supposed to just be juicy and wet and dripping down there every time that we're turned on or horny. And while that certainly can happen for a lot of women, there's plenty of women who that just is not the case for. I know myself, there have been plenty of times when I have been so turned on, so ready to have sex, and I've just been dry down there. And many factors can cause that. Things like stress, if you've recently been ill, certain types of medication, particularly some types of antidepressants and even the birth control pill, can actually really throw your whole balance down there out of whack and make it so that it's really difficult to get lubricated, which is why having a bottle of personal lubricant on your nightstand is just an absolute no-brainer you don't need to worry about putting pressure on yourself to get wet if you you just have a personal lubricant on hand all of the time i even keep a travel size personal lubricant in my bag when i go traveling somewhere so i've got it not just if i'm gonna have sex with someone but if i'm gonna have sex with myself because even sometimes when i'm so turned on that i just want to masturbate I still can be dry down there. So please don't worry and don't judge yourself and don't think you're broken if you are a woman who has trouble getting lubricated. It's a really natural thing to happen because women aren't human waterfalls. This is something I say a lot. We just, we don't always drip down there. Some lucky girls have that and my gosh, snaps to them snaps to you boo if you are one of those lucky women who can get super wet all the time but unfortunately i'm not one of those women and thank god that personal lubricant exists it's such a cheap quick and easy way to make sex more comfortable when you are lubricated it means that you're able to feel sensations particularly sensations around your clitoris a lot easier if you are dry your clitoris is going to get aggravated so you're not going to feel any of those nice feelings a lot of people forget that the clitoris has around 8,000 nerve endings in it that's a lot of nerve endings so that thing is really sensitive it can be sensitive in a good way 
but it can be sensitive in a bad mm. way too. So if you're not treating the clitoris right because you're rubbing it or your partner's rubbing it or putting a toy on it, when there is no lubrication on it, then you're gonna aggravate it and you're gonna end up in pain or discomfort. And actually, I'm such a huge advocate of lube. I recommend that you still reach for that bottle of personal lubricant, even if you put your hand down to your vulva and it is already wet. Because the saying wetter is better exists for a reason. Just because you're wet doesn't mean you can't get wetter still. What I find is when I add lubrication in, when I add that personal lubricant into the mix, even if I am naturally wet in, in and around my vulva, it will increase the sensations for me down there because more often than not, when you're putting on a little bit of lube, you'll find it's coming out of the bottle so it's a little bit cool to touch and that coolness on your genitals, oh, it just, it feels amazing. It just brings everything to life down there. And you can, you know, you can play around with all different types of lubricants. These are only two that I've shown you guys today, the oil-based and the water-based, but there are all different amazing kinds out there that you can try. I will talk about those in future videos, but those are two great ones to get you started off. So make today the day that you go out and invest in personal lubricant. It's only gonna cost you a few dollars and you're gonna have better, wetter, hotter, more pleasurable orgasmic sex. And yeah, I'm gonna try now to get back to regularly scheduled videos, trying to do a couple a week at least for you guys, like I was doing before, Mondays and Fridays. If sometimes I miss out on a video, please forgive me because my schedule is definitely getting a lot more hectic with so many exciting things going on and I can't wait to share more with you guys about it. Thank you for supporting me and being part of my journey because there has been a lot of personal stuff for me going on lately and the beautiful messages and comments that you guys have left for me, those have not gone unnoticed. Even if I didn't personally respond to or heart one of your comments or your messages or your emails that you sent me, please know that I read each and every one of them and that you guys have really just touched my heart and I absolutely feel part of an amazing sex positive family here on YouTube and so blessed to have you guys. It's just, yeah, it's, it's amazing. And I still every day pinch myself that this is like my actual job. What the hell? Like, yeah. Anyway, I am ranting now, so I'm gonna go. I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure you go and check out Astroglide. I'll put links in the description down below if you wanna go and check out either of those lubes. And I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.